Uri Hashem se Shabbos. Shams Shabbos. Hello, my name is Yossi Weiss. Today I want to show you how I prepare Shabbos in my house every single week. The fish I like to eat. I like good old fashioned fish with cochonia. Have it, cochonia. You know what I'm talking about? Cochonia. Yeah, Froins makes this delicious cochonia powder, so we don't have to use skin anymore to make that whole cochonia thing. It's the easiest thing to do. I always order my fish from Froins. I like fresh fish. If you live in Lakewood, they deliver every single day in Lakewood. If you live in Brooklyn, you know Froins. You pick up the phone, you make a phone call before you hang up, they deliver already. Let me show you how I prepare my fish. Seven cups of water, it's right in here. I bring it to a boil. I have my gefilte fish over here. One onion. I got some garlic in a bag. Let that start boiling. Here comes my gefilte fish. Now, there's a few different types of rolls of gefilte fish you can buy. I like the small one. I don't like to buy a big roll. Then I, have, I always have leftovers. This is a mini roll of gefilte fish. It's not a full size. That goes in there. Now, here comes the fun part. Salt. I like white pepper. I like my fish when it's nice and clean. No black pepper, no paprika. I don't like it very colorful. The best part of it all. Mucho. A lot of sugar. My water is coming to a boil. I put the gefilte fish and the onion in. It cooled off the water a little bit. It takes a few more minutes. Let's bring it up to a boil. Here comes the little magic, the secret. The cochonio powder, the gel powder. Put a little bit of this in. Once it starts boiling. Here goes my carrot. I cover my pot now. Now let this boil on a medium flame for around 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'm gonna put in my white fish because I have white fish here, I have salmon, I do everything in the same pot. The filter fish has to cook for around an hour, the white fish has to cook for around 35 minutes, the salmon has to cook for around 12 minutes. So if you start off with your filter, a half an hour later you put in your white, 10 minutes later you put in your salmon, you make it all in the same pot. You only have to clean a pot once. That's the whole trick. My wife taught me that a bunch of times. Try to make as little as a mess as possible. You can make it all in one pot. Why make six different pots, right? So let's see what happens. And I'll be back. It's 30 minutes later. I want to put in my white fish. So there's two ways how to do this when you open the pot. You can do this, okay? Or you can do what I see the Shiyi does. Go like this. Okay, good. There you go. Here's my white fish. Keep the good white fishes, of course. Make sure it's nice and clean and doesn't even smell like fish. How crazy is that? Beautiful, fresh. One, I like the tail, you know why? Because when I grew up, my mother was very scared that I'm gonna eat the bones of the fish, so she used to make me the tail all the time. I'm 42 years old, I still eat the tail. <laughs> I'm still a kid. Somebody's kid. I'm gonna let this cook for another 15, 20 minutes. After that, I'm gonna put in my salmon, which is right here. I'll be done 15 minutes later. I'll see you soon. I let my uh, white fish cook and now I'm gonna add my salmon. This way we'll have everything perfectly cooked and a delicious cut on your fish. Let's continue. I'm gonna take uh, my onions and the garlic out. I got all the flavor out of that already. I don't need that in my fish. And I need space for my salmon anyway. I'm gonna take my carrot out. I don't need it so soft. It's nicely boiled. Boom. I'm gonna put that aside. Right over here. Here we got my gefilte, my white fish. Here comes my salmon. Beautifully packed. Look how beautiful this is. In we go with the salmon. Careful, don't hurt yourself. Very important. That's it, I'm done. I put my cochonia powder, my gel powder. I have salt, pepper, sugar, it's sweet. It's a machai, I got my white fish, I got my gefilte fish. I got my salmon. I need 12 to 15 minutes on this. These slices are nice size slices. I'll put probably wait around 13 minutes. I just have to transfer afterwards and we have a delicious, beautiful. Hi, Misha. Shabbos Dika fish. 
Ai, Bruno Hashem, você chava. Ai, Bruno Hashem, você chava. It's the next day. Magic of television. So once my fish finished cooking, I uh, let it cool down, put on a pair of gloves, put it in here nicely, put the sauce in here, you wake up the next morning, we got clutch on you. Look at that. Beauty, all right? Fish, beautiful. When you serve your fish, it's not gonna fall apart. Listen, this is the way I grew up. I'm in the mood of a little bit of fish. I'm not gonna ruin the salmon now. I'm gonna take a little piece of gefilte. Take a small piece. I'm on a diet, you know what I'm saying? Of course, a little chrein. Even though I once heard from, uh, from the Alta Yi, he says, Get the gefilte fish, that fish can chrein. Delicious. I love it. Now, if you want to be creative with the cutting your sauce, you can put this into little flowers if you want. Mold. And when you set your table for Shabbos and you want to flip the mold over and you have like a little flower, you can serve your fish that way. You can do that too. You can do so many different things. We all know what we do right after we eat fish is a little bit of wine. Of course, a little bit of white wine. You don't have to buy some fancy wine or who knows what. You don't have to show off to anybody. You're home alone. Buy a regular bottle of Baron Herzog wine. It's $10.99. delicious. See you guys next time. Uri Hashem se Shabbos.